the gospel called the protoevangelion chapter eleven annas visits joseph perceives the virgin big with child informs the high priest that joseph had privately married her joseph and mary brought to trial on the charge joseph drinks the water of the lord as an ordeal and receiving no harm returns home then came annas the scribe and said to joseph wherefore have we not seen you since your return and joseph replied because i was weary after my journey and rested the first day but annas turning about perceived the virgin big with child and went away to the priest and told him joseph in whom you place so much confidence is guilty of a notorious crime in that he hath defiled the virgin whom he received out of the temple of the lord and hath privately married her not discovering it to the children of israel then said the priest hath joseph done this annas replied if you send any of your servants you will find that she was with child and the servants went and found it as he said upon this both she and joseph were brought to their trial and the priest said unto her mary what hast thou done why hast thou debased thy soul and forgot thy god seeing thou wast brought up in the holy of holies and didst receive thy food from the hand of angels and heardest their songs why hast thou done this to which with a flood of tears she answered as the lord my god liveth i am innocent in his sight seeing i know no man then the priest said to joseph why hast thou done this and joseph answered as the lord my god liveth i have not been concerned with her but the priest said lie not but declare the truth thou hast privately married her and not discovered it to the children of israel and humbled thyself under the mighty hand of god that thy seed might be blessed and joseph was silent then said the priest to joseph you must restore to the temple of the lord the virgin which you took thence but he wept bitterly and the priest added i will cause you both to drink the water of the lord which is for trial and so your iniquity shall be laid open before you bitter water that causes the curse then the priest took the water and made joseph drink and sent him to a mountainous place and he returned perfectly well and all the people wondered that his guilt was not discovered so the priest said since the lord hath not made your sins evident neither do i condemn you so he sent them away then joseph took mary and went to his house rejoicing and praising the god of israel 